Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of the Minecraft Java edition version 1.17.1 shaders and this is actually called Astralex shaders for Minecraft Java edition 1.17.1 and this is based on the BSL shaders that I've showed you in my previous video. If you haven't already checked that out, definitely check out BSL shaders and I've also shown you the complementary shaders which were also based on BSL shader pack and this shader pack, the Astralex shader pack is actually slightly different to all other shader packs that I've seen and as you guys can see this is actually a cell shaded type effect that's going on here I mean the water looks amazing as you can see we've got the reflection there and another cool thing I like about the shader pack is the clouds and the sky effect. As you guys can see, the clouds look so realistic, look really amazing. I really do like the shader pack. It would be quite interesting to play a survival game using these. And as you can see, the trees also have the cell shaded effect as well. So not only is the water amazing, but the sky and the clouds are also amazing. Uh, we've got the traditional BSL type shadows as well going on here and they they look really nice as well. Another cool thing about the shader pack is that if you go into night mode, let me just set the time to night, the stars and everything, it just looks amazing. As you can see, we can actually see the shooting stars there. If we just look up, as you guys can see, and that looks so cool. It's amazing how they've done that. It's really impressive and we've also got the reflection of the stars in the water as you can see and you can even see the shooting stars reflection there in the water. As you can see I'm looking down now. It just looks so cool. So what I'm going to do today guys I'm going to show you how to download these Astralex shaders for Minecraft Java Edition 1.17.1 and how to install it and what I'm going to do I'm going to use the Iris shaders installation for this because Optifine currently does have a few issues with version 1.17.1 and some of the shader packs may not work properly with that one so I would highly recommend that we use the Iris shaders instead of Optifine for now and just wait for a newer version of Optifine to come out that would support version 1.17.1 because the preview 25 build at the moment it does have a few errors and I would not recommend it at this stage. Let's just change the time to day. As you guys can see this looks so nice. Alright, so what I'm going to do now guys, I'm going to show you how to download these shaders and how to install them on your Minecraft Java Edition game. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to download Java because we do need that to install Iris shaders and get the installer for Iris shaders to work properly. So just open up your internet browser and just go to java.com and just click on Java download. Agree and start free download, wait for that to finish downloading and then we can run the file click on install and I'm going to wait for that to finish installing and then I'm going to come right back. Alright so as you guys can see Java has finished installing. I've got a message here that says you have successfully installed Java. So if you get that message just close this down. Alright let's go back to our internet browser and now we can start downloading Iris shaders because we will need this to install the Astralex sh shader pack as well. Let's go ahead and start typing in Iris shaders and it's normally the first link which is irisshaders.net so just click on this link and then click on download now and you should see a link here that says download universal jar so just click on that and wait for that to finish okay so as you guys can see that it's now finished downloading the iris shaders installer so let's close this down and let's go ahead and start downloading the Astralex shaders as well. So in the search bar, just start typing in BSL shaders because we are going to go through the link of the author to get to the download link. And don't worry guys, I will leave a link in the description for all of the downloads so you don't have to go around searching for these. So just go to the bitslablab.com BSL shaders site. This is the BSL shaders 
main author's website and just click on edits and extras and then over here you'll see Astralex by Lex Boost. So click on this link, you will be taken to the main web page for the Lex Boost shaders, aka the Astralex shaders. And if we just click on download, and as you can see, it says Astralex PSL Edit version 20.0. So just click on download and wait for that to finish. All right, and as you guys can see, the Astralex shaders have finished downloading. Uh, it might have some weird text in the front and the back for it. So don't worry, just leave it as it is. We're now going to put all of these files on the desktop and I'm going to show you how to install these. All right, so I've now placed the downloaded files on my desktop. And the next thing we're going to do, we're going to install Iris shaders using the Iris installer. So right click on the jar file, hover over where it says open with and then select Java platform SE binary. And you should be prompted with a Iris installer, as you can see there. For the edition, you will see it says Iris and Sodium. For the game version, we're going to select 1.17.1. .1. And this is why I like the Iris shaders, is because they're quite up to date with their versions. And as you guys probably know, the version 1.17.1 .1 actually came out recently, and Iris has already released their installer to support it. So just click on install, and it will download a few files and then install it. And as you guys can see, that was really quick. And now it says installation succeeded. So let's go ahead and close this down. Now, if we open up the Minecraft launcher, let's wait for that to load up. Let's go to installations on the top here. You will see that it has created another installation that says Iris and Sodium. And the next thing we're going to do, we're going to put the shader pack into the shader packs folder. So just hover over any of these two lines and then click on the folder icon for it to load the default Minecraft directory. And in this directory, if you already haven't got one, you should have a folder called shader packs. Now, if you don't have this, just right click anywhere in the blank space, click on new and then create a new folder and then just rename it to shader packs. Now, if you just go into this folder and what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this file into this shader packs folder. And as you guys can see, we are in the shader packs folder and I've put the Astralex shaders by Lex Boost into the shader packs folder. Okay, so let's close this down. Let's go back into the installer. And if we just hover over Iris and Sodium, we can click on play or we can actually go to the play tab over here. And with Iris and Sodium selected at the bottom left here, I can also click on play in this bit here. So let's click on play. All right, and as you guys can see, it's now loaded the Minecraft game version 1.17.1. .1, and at the bottom left here, it should say Minecraft 1.17.1 slash fabric modded and if we go to the options and then click on video settings you will see that this is slightly different and it does have an option here for shader packs and if we just click on astralex over here and then click on apply wait for that to apply it and then you should be able to click on done and then close it down now I'm going to create a new world and show you what it looks like with the Astra Lex shaders applied to the new world. So let's click on create new world. Let's create this new world. Survival, normal difficulty and let's wait for that to load now. And there we go guys, as you guys can see, it's now loaded a default survival world. I am playing on Minecraft Java Edition 1.17.1 .1, and it's really cool because I'm now enjoying the Astralex shaders and everything works fine. I really like the water here and the sky looks amazing. And yeah, if you guys are looking for something different or you've gotten bored of the other shader packs and you want something different with the cell shader type graphics, then definitely give this one a go. I think it's worth checking out. It looks really cool. It runs quite nicely as well. Hopefully you guys have found this video useful. If you have, please do give us a like. If you have any comments or queries about installing this, or if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below. Also, please do let us know in the comment section below what is your favorite shader pack, or do you prefer using Silda's shaders? Just leave them in the comment section below. And also, please do subscribe to this channel to help support it, help it grow. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.